everybody, it's Connie with SimplySimpleStamping.com. Thank you for joining me for uh, my new series, Out of the Box. I'm going to show you some fun, creative ways to use your stamps in not-so-ordinary ways. So we're going to think outside the box. Today's card is a really fun one. I created a zebra print using an ice cream cone. So yeah, this is a really fun way to use the new Cool Treat stamp set in a very different way. Let me share with you how to create it. All right, let's go ahead and go over the card stock that we need for our out of the box card. Let's go ahead and start with the uh, card base. I'm gonna be using basic black. It is cut at four and a quarter by 11 inches, scored at five and a half, so that's gonna fit into a medium sized envelope. I have two pieces of Whisper White cardstock that are cut four inches by five and a quarter inch. And then I have two pieces here, Melon Mambo and Whisper White. Melon Mambo is four and a quarter by two and three quarters, and the Whisper White is four by two and a half. If you follow the flashcard series, you're gonna recognize that as a flashcard. But really, it's just some scrap. It's whatever we're gonna be using here. So go ahead and be sure to look in your scrap pile for those pieces as well. I've also got 18 inches of our thick Melon Mambo Baker's Twine. We're going to do a fun technique with this here in just a minute. So I told you this is an out of a box card and that's because we're going to be using the Cool Treats stamp set. I love this stamp set, but I got a little creative with the, uh, the second image here for the ice cream cone. That's how we're going to create our great zebra print. And then I'll be using a couple other stamps from Cool Treats as well. But let's go ahead and get to going on our stamping. I've got a basic black ink pad and uh, make sure with the basic black that you keep that well inked. We want these, the black colors to be really nice and dark. We don't want them to come out light. So I'm going to ink up my stamp and just start right there in the middle. Now I'm just going to kind of rotate. You can either rotate the stamp or rotate the cardstock and just kind of keep things moving. It's not about keeping things perfect, but I take the point um, of the stamp and I kind of like to use that to fill in uh, certain spots if you will. So I'm just going to continue to stamp this randomly all over my cardstock. All right, I have that stamp. Let me go ahead and set that off to the side and we're going to now come in with a Melon Mambo ink pad and the happiest birthday. We're gonna ink that up there in the Melon Mambo. Let's stamp that right there in the middle. I'm now going to come in with the Lots of Labels Framelit Set, and you're just gonna find the one that will um, fit your birthday sentiment. So it looks like it's about the fourth from the bottom. So we're gonna go ahead and run that through the Big Shot. When I do, I wanna keep the word birthday within the uh, round edges of that. We'll fill this in here in just a minute. While you're over at the Big Shot, let's take the Melon Mambo piece. We're going to take the Framelit that's one size bigger. We're gonna go ahead and run that through as well. All right, I've got those cut. I'm gonna come back in with my basic black ink pad, and I just wanted to fill in a little bit. In the Cool Treat stamp set, there are these great little dots. Now, they're meant to be uh, little dots on um, ice cream and sundaes and things, but you know what? Look at what it did there, kind of filled that in nicely. You notice I just kind of rotated the stamp around. We're going to adhere the uh, focal image here onto our Melon Mambo. All right, now we're gonna do that fun technique with the baker's twine. This is really fun. It's just a fun way to use it versus just straight. I'm gonna unravel the top of it a little bit. I believe there are about 10 strands on here. So you might find it best to kind of just break them down into three or four. I will tell you, I tried to break them down separately and I broke the thread, so let's not do that. I've got, it looks like four strands right there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold that in one hand and in my index finger and thumb, hold the other and just gently give that a pull. Now it starts to get a little tight. Don't pull so hard that you break like I did. <laughs> We're gonna give that a pull. There's one set. We're gonna continue to do that again, grabbing three or four uh, strands here, and then we're gonna get all this separated out. All right, now that we have those broke apart, you might wanna break it down just a little bit more. Uh, break it down into two, maybe three strands, but very simple to do. And then we're gonna lay all these together. And see, now we have kind of almost a fluffy ribbon. Let me set this off to the side so we can put our card base together. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some snail on the back of my uh, zebra print. We're going to adhere 
clear that to the front of the basic black cardstock. I'm now going to come in with a three quarter inch circle punch and let me show you what we're gonna do here. I'm gonna open up the card and let me bring in my focal image. I'm just going to lay it here. I'm not going to adhere it down because the ribbon's gonna go underneath it, but watch what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna get it set where I want it and then I'm gonna come in with the, the circle punch I'm going to kind of see where I can center it up there. Sliding my circle punch down, I want to just catch just the basic black cardstock and not my printed image. If you catch a little of the printed image, don't worry, it is not gonna show because uh, once we have that ribbon on there, you just don't see it. So again, I can see I'm kind of centered up, sliding my cardstock down or my card base will give it a punch. If this doesn't get perfectly centered, don't worry about it. It's not going to be a problem. It just kind of helps me get it centered. I'm now going to take that twine. I'm going to put it in those slots and line it up here on the side. I'm going to tie this in a bow on the side. Now, not going to lie, it's a little difficult because we've got all these strands and they're loose. So that's one reason I gave you um, 18 inches to work with. It gives you the ability to make some pretty large loops. So when I make this loop, whoo, let's make it kind of big so that when I go to tuck it under, I've got plenty of um, space and I'm not fighting with those threads. So I'm gonna give that my little pull here. I guess I probably should have lined that up a little bit better. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get our bow all set. I'm just gonna keep pulling. Oh, did you notice that I pulled a little thread? It's not a problem, you can just grab it and bring it back. So I'm gonna get that a little bit smaller and then I'll trim down the ends. I've now put some dimensionals. I put four dimensionals on the back of my focal image. And I want you to notice I didn't put them here. And that's because I don't want to hit that uh, baker's twine with it. I actually want it to kind of go up and down. So let's go ahead and center our focal image. What's great, that baker's twine is there and it kind of helps us see right where to go. I'm a little crooked there. Let's lift this straighten it out there we go when you're happy with it and you're sure you're good in the center we're going to give that a press you're now ready to um, adhere the inside of your card now you can leave it blank but let me give you a couple of fun ways that you can stamp on it one way to create a fun border is to come back in with the zebra print or the ice cream if you will and we're just going to add a nice little border here you can see that looks really fun on the inside. I liked how that turned out. Another idea is to just kind of come in and play around with the dots in the um, upper and lower corner. That just kind of dresses up the inside a little bit. And that makes the inside of my card um, just as fun. Such a fun way to use that stamp set. I love zebra print. I just think it's fun. I know a lot of friends that I would love to send this card to. And you know what? You can change that melon mambo to some other really fun and funky colors. Uh, try tempting turquoise. Try a daffodil delight. Really great way to use um, some bright colors with that zebra print. It's awfully fun. You can even change the zebra print to some fun colors as well. Hey, why not be an animal of another color, right? Now, if you'd like any of the supplies I use to create the card, you can find it at one place, simplysimplestamping.com. Just look for the January 5th, 2017 blog post. I'll have everything that I used right there. And if you need to place an order, just click a pick and it's going to take you right to the online store. You can get the supplies that you need. Well, guys, thank you so much for being a part of the Out of the Box series. I'm really excited to see what kind of fun things I can come up with. Have a fabulous day, everyone. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.